Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and today, August the 22nd, 2023, we have an update for Windows 10 22H2. It is the preview updates that are the bug fixing updates that are now always released on the last week of the month. So today you are getting, if you go into your settings and into Windows Update, uh, two types of updates that are preview updates, both of them bug fixes. So if we look at the update history here, you'll have a update for the .NET framework 3.5, 4.8, And you, so this is cumulative update preview. And of course, cumulative update preview for Windows 10 22H2, which is KB5029331. This is the bug fixing update. And of course, it is the optional updates released today. They will be installed on your machine uh, when, of course, you get to uh, Patch Tuesday if you don't install them today. So what does this fix today? Fixes a few things that have to do with the operating system. Um, there's a problem that affects group policy services, uh, which um, has a default wait time that doesn't work. It adds um, the uh, DirectX 12 dependencies um, info. It has a issue that affects the WSX layered window. Uh, when you scale display screen, it could have an error message. You also have an issue that affects print jobs that are sent on the virtual print queue that fail without an error. Uh, disk partition problem. If you're losing, using BitLocker partitions, what happens is if you remaster the partitions, if you try to resize and all of that, creates a problem. There's also a issue that might affect some of the prompts within the uh, operating system. And of course, there's a issue where there's a failed possibility on update Windows Update for Business. Now, one interesting thing here is that it adds something new. If you go to your um, apps, you'll notice that there's a new Windows Backup app. This is brand new. It has been added now to Windows 10. It's already available on Windows 11, but now there's the Windows 10 version. Unfortunately, I would like to have a app that does more. It backs up only to OneDrive, so that's you know not very useful if you're not a OneDrive user. But it's there. It's a new app for Windows 10. So if you look at your Windows version, this actually makes your Windows version, if you look at Winver, uh, go to 19.045.3393. And of course, if you ignore all of this, well, this will actually give you the uh, possibility of uh, getting these updates when we get into Patch Tuesday in the month of September. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.